All right, what's going on everybody on YouTube? Uh, NES Ruler. Uh, let's do another out and about today. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna probably be. Let me move this camera a little bit. I'm probably gonna be doing these a lot on the weekends now than the, uh, during the week because I started school. You know, I have a lot of film stuff that I have to do uh, for college and stuff. So uh, I have to edit a shitload of stuff. So I really don't have that much time to really do videos during the week. So uh, I'll probably just mostly do them. Uh, over the weekend, like I said today. So uh, today we're gonna be going to uh, a Fye a fries, not a Fye a fries. They only fries in like a hundred miles. And the one time I was there, they had awesome shit. But you know, their retail price. But that's all right. Uh, I want to get some Buster Keaton stuff. I've been watching some Buster Keaton stuff in my uh, film class, and I really enjoyed them. I ordered the uh, three disc uh, shorts from 1920. From the early 1920s to the late 1920s, it has like 15 shorts from Buster Keaton on there, and I'm really looking forward to watching those. Uh, I watched uh, Sherlock Jr. in my uh, film class, in one of my film classes, and I uh, absolutely fell in love with it. I thought it was brilliant. There's just the comedy, and it was just so funny. I really enjoyed it, so I definitely wanted to get, uh, check out some more Buster, Buster Keaton films for sure. And um, Play 2 is only 8 bucks, I want to pick that up just to have the trilogy finally. And uh, we're going to hit up 3 family videos as well out there. Uh, the fries is about uh, 30 miles away or so, so uh, it's quite a drive, but I, I, I have nothing else to do today. And there's uh, 3 family videos, so we're going to check that out as well. I'll talk to you guys soon when I get to fries, and I'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, here we are at Fry's Electronics. Uh, this place is fucking huge. Uh, this is freaking the biggest electronics store ever. So we're gonna go in there, see what movies we find, and I'll come out and show you guys. Hopefully some Buster Keaton stuff. Talk to you guys soon. Alright, what's going on everyone? Uh, I'm out of fries now. I picked up, uh, three titles. Buster Keaton Kino film for freaking $26 a piece. Fuck that. I can get them for 20 on Amazon. No tax-free shipping. So I'm probably just gonna order those on Amazon instead of picking them up around here. But I did get three titles. Uh, this movie I've been actually wanting to buy for a really long time. And I was looking and I saw it, and it was only 10 bucks. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm going to buy that for sure. And that's the Rampart Blu-ray, uh, starting Woody Harrelson. I've been wanting to see this movie when it was actually in theaters, but I, I never got a chance to see it. And uh, I've been seeing a family video and everything, but not on Blu-ray. And it's this case. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, uh, well, I could always change it. But uh, this was only 10 bucks. Awesome score. Uh, I picked this one up too for five bucks. I thought it, I, I've heard a lot of good things about this film, but I never got a chance to actually pick it up and buy it. And that's Dead Man. This is just an uh, Echo Bridge release, but it was five bucks. And uh, Johnny Depp is usually good. And you know, I thought this sounded pretty sweet. It's black and white. It sounded pretty interesting. And finally, like I said, this was uh, seven ninety nine Blade Two. Now I have all the blades, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, this is a good one. I like Blade Two. So yeah, that's everything, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go get some gas and some food, and then we're gonna go to the first family video and see what we can find. Uh, hopefully, some cheap DVDs and Blu-rays. So let's go, and I'll see you guys when I get to the family video. All right, here we guys. Here we are at the first uh, family video here. Uh, this one's quite far away from my house. I'm about uh, an hour and 20 minutes away from my house or so. I'm a crazy motherfucker, but I like my $2 DVDs. And I'm, tr I'm trying to hit, at least hit every single one in the hour and a half area. And I'm pretty close to getting going to every single one in the hour and a half from my house. So this should be sweet. Let's go in there, see what we can find. I'll see you guys when I get out. All right, I'm out of family video. I walked away with uh, eight titles for $17. So not bad at all. And uh, some, some okay good titles that I'm going to enjoy to watch. To get into it, the first one I picked up was uh, Conan O'Brien Can't Stop. This is the documentary about Conan O'Brien's uh, 32 city uh, tour uh, back in, I think, 2010 or 2011. I love documentaries and uh, I think this is going to be like the Joaquin Phoenix one, maybe. Put out by Magnolia. Good stuff. Two dollars. It says two ninety-five, but the guy cut me a deal, two dollars each. This one's cool. I know this is coming out on Blu-ray by uh, Shout Factory in a few weeks, but uh, I picked up the DVD for two dollars to hold me over, and that's Terror Train, starring uh, the Scream Queen herself, Jamie Lee Curtis. This was two dollars. This has the widescreen and full screen. It's an awesome uh, slasher flick. Highly recommended. Uh, ooh, a little scratch, Daroonies. 
Don't scratch your roonies. That's all right. Oh, cool. Uh, has the insert. Always gets my. Uh, always love that. It's a little sun faded. Two dollars. Can't complain. Next we have. Uh, here we have a movie called Enter Nowhere. Uh, put out by Lionsgate. Uh, three people go into a woods and finds a cabin, and uh, they get sucked into the cabin, and then they have to try and survive. So you know that sounds pretty cool. Next we have a uh, Trippin'. Uh, this is a really extremely low budget uh, horror movie put out by Camp Motion Pictures. Uh, cool cover art on that disc, guys. And uh, this is pretty much about um, six friends going to a woods, and uh, six uh, and they have some sort of uh, killer come after them, but they survive. And then a guy comes and asks them to make a movie about what happened, and he pays them and. They go back into the woods and shit starts to happen. Kind of reminds me of Hatchet's 2 plot a little bit, just a tiny bit. I couldn't remember if I had this already, but I don't think I have it. And if I do, I'll, I'll definitely uh, give it away to one of you guys uh, in a raffle or something. That's Claustrophobia, uh, put out by MVD, which is a, I think it's a, a uh, Australian type uh, horror line. I think I have some more films by uh, that line. And, uh, she, this woman moves into this apartment and ghosts start to happen. I think that's what it's about. I picked this up, guys. Uh, don't shoot me. And that's the Wicker Tree. It's supposed to be like the reimagination of the Wicker Man. And uh, it's by the same director. You know, Robin Hardy did direct this. So I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, I've not heard that many good things about it. But I did pick up the Wicker Man uh, a few weeks ago in another family video for two bucks. So I thought I'd pick up this one just to have it. Oh, this one's really funny, guys. And that's Sorority House Massacre, put out by uh, New Concord Video. I mean, this is amazing, guys. I mean, I love these Sorority House <laughs> killer movies. I have a s s Cheerleader Massacre. I have to get Slumber Party sooner or later, but uh, that's cool. And finally, we have uh, this one. That's okay. We have The Children of the Corn 5, Fields of Terror. This is the... Uh, Dimension Home video release. So that's cool that I got a uh, three. No, shit. No, I got four and six, I think, last time. I, and I think I just picked up five. I think I got six last time. I can't remember. Shit. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out. If anything, I'll uh, give that away in another uh, video as well. But yeah, I'm going to go to another, uh, two more family videos, guys. See what we can find. Um, still good to go. I'll see you guys when I get to that second family video. It's about 20 minutes away from here, and I'll see you guys soon. Well guys, this was a family video that I wasn't expecting to come in and I didn't even see that it was here until I was looking at my navigation and it showed up. So we actually have three more family videos to go to. This one and then two more after this. And uh, this one seems pretty nice. Never know where you're going to find. Let's go in there, see what you can find. Maybe some good titles. They fucking had Jack Frost, the first one at the other family video. I was so pissed they didn't have it. Someone rented it out because that movie's like a $25 DVD which pisses me off. But let's go in there, see what we can find. Talk to you guys soon. Alright, let me move this camera again. Sorry about that. Alright, that place wasn't so bad. Uh, some good titles. Uh, walked again out with again with eight titles for uh, $17. Uh, yeah, I had a fucking Criterion for two dollars. It had this two ninety five sticker on there, but someone slapped it on there and he wouldn't sell it to me. Which kind of sucked because that would have been an awesome score. But that's alright, but uh, let's get into what I picked up. I got uh, 19 doors. Uh, this seems like a uh, abandoned type of motel gets written into a ghost story type movie. Uh, seems pretty cool. It's two bucks. Next we got uh, Beware. It says you've been warned. Uh, this seems like a urban legend type movie that the urban legend, you know, comes back, starts killing them. Seems pretty cool. Two bucks. This one won official selection for the Manhattan Film Festival. The sleeve seems pretty tiny. Oh, that's why. It's ripped. Whatever. It's two bucks. That's the eaves. Um, students go to a beach for spring break and they start to disappear. And eh, whatever. Full out cover art. This one's this really cool. We got uh, body bags. Directed by John Carpenter and Tony Hooper from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Really cool find. Um, I have not seen this before, and it seems like a, a, a serial killer uh, screws with kids at a uh, abandoned.
abandoned gas station. Sorry, it's hot as balls. And uh, that seemed pretty cool. That was uh, two bucks. Really cool release. Uh, it comes with the answer. Cool beans. Next we have the Summer of Massacre. And on the top it says, Guinness World Record Holder, highest body count in a slasher film, 155. It says it right there. So, uh, uh, this, this one caught my attention. I had to buy no matter what. That top line with the Guinness World Record, highest body count of all time, definitely makes people want to watch it and buy it. And, I mean, 155, that's just going to be amazing. And, I mean, that has some cool gore effects already right on the back. That seems pretty cool. So, I'm definitely curious to see what this is all about. Next we have uh, Isolation from the director of the Boogeyman movies, which suck balls, but uh, this seems pretty cool. A uh, woman wakes up from a coma and the doctors are crazy and it seems pretty cool. And next we have a non-horror title, and that's Michelle Williams in Meek's Cutoff. This is a western um, from 1845 about the Oregon Trail, and it uh, seems pretty cool. It's put out by a uh, freaking... Uh, uh, Scope, you know the people who put out uh, Ray Encounter, Rare Encounters, and My Name is Kevin, and some other people, but that's pretty cool. And finally, yes, I finally got Cube 2. Finally got Cube 2. I have Cube 1 and I have Cube 3, so I finally got Cube 2. I've been looking for that with the original cover. Every family video I've been to, the cover's been printed off and black and white and all shitty so that's pretty cool that I got that so yeah that's everything guys we got two more family videos to go to let's go I'll talk to you guys when I get there it's five o'clock I've been on the road for fucking four hours already it's kind of crazy four hours sure go fast but I'll talk to you guys soon well I just got out of the third family video sorry I didn't post an intro uh, I'm starting to get tired I mean I've been going for uh fucking almost five hours now so I'm getting a little bit tired just a little bit and uh we only got one more to go to and then I'm gonna go home so I'm gonna head up to the last one I'll post an intro video one and I'll say if I get anything when I get out of there but uh my, my eyes are starting to burn like a motherfucker from going looking at all these titles so uh I'll talk post the video when we get to the last family video of the day and I'll see you guys soon well, that place was out of business, so it kind of sucks that I drove all the way there and it wasn't there. I kind of figured because there's already another one in that town, so I'm just going to go home now. And uh, thanks everybody for coming with me today on this out and about. Uh, I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed the stuff I picked up. I uh, picked hit up three new family videos that we never went to. Uh, one was a little bus, two was good. So I'll see you guys. I'll be doing a DVD update when I get home, but I won't be posting it until the middle of the week just to, you know, uh, spread things out and all that. So I'll see you guys soon. Uh, enjoy your weekend.